let this be a normal field trip? With a friend? No way! Oh. Cruising on down Main Street, you're relaxed and feeling good. Yeah. Next thing that you know, you see it. <laughs> Octopus in the neighborhood, surfing on the sound wave, swinging through the stars. Yeah. Take a left at your intestine, take your second right past Mars. On the magic school bus, navigate a nostril. Come on the magic school bus. Right to the sea. Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day complete, you might get baked into a pie. Oh, the magic scuba. Step inside, it's a wild ride. Come on, right on the magic scuba. with a side of snores? It is not, Janet. You don't like it because the PTA chose my idea for an all-schools field trip, not your magic show. At least a magic show has some surprises. Great, terrific. Dull is more like it. Dull? You got it, Phoebe, as in ho-hum. Now I could do something magic with light. Something that would knock your socks off. Go ahead then, Janet. Do something magic with light. Right now. Now? I... I, I can't. I'm not in here. Why not? Because... because... Because of the ghost! What ghost? There's a ghost in this theater. And when the lights go out and it's dark, the ghost comes out to get ya. It does? Nice try, Janet. But there's no ghost in here or anywhere. Ghosts don't exist. Now you've done it. I can't believe you say ghosts don't exist. The ghost hates when people say that. It does? It does. And if anything, terrible happens to anyone in here. It's all your fault. I'm with you, Ralphie. I'm glad to be out here where it's light. Me too. Even if ghosts don't exist, I don't like them. Where's Miss Frizzle? She said she'd get the bus out of the parking lot and meet us outside. And where's Arnold? I thought he came out with Janet. She's not here either. Maybe the ghost got him. <laughs> Come on, Quiche. You know there's no such thing as ghosts. Yeah. We'll lighten up. Huh? Did someone say lighten up? Miss Frizzle! How does she do that? Now that the show's over, it's time to blaze a trail home. All present and accounted for? No, Miss Frizzle. We've lost Arnold. Nothing's lost until it can't be found. Could he be in the theater? We can't go back in there. It's dark. Ralphie, as my great aunt Alva always said, when facing the dark, find some light. Arnold, here we come. Hey, watch it. Sorry. Is it just me, or do we need a light in here? Ralphie's right. We won't find Arnold if there's no light to see him with. And there's no light without a source, Phoebe. It has to come from somewhere. That's better. But it's still not enough light to find Arnold, Miss Fizzle. And as Aunt Alva's brother, Uncle Edison, used to say, No sight without light. There's a source of light to help us see on the stage. What a weird light. It's called a ghost light. Ooh. 
A ghost light? According to my research... Oh, wait, I need more light. Ah, that's better. According to my research, the last person to leave the theater always turns on the ghost light. And that's to keep away the ghost. Janet must have been right about it being haunted in here. I vote we wait for Arnold in the bus. But what if something's happened to him? I mean, this place is humongous. He could be anywhere. Hey, Arn! Where are ya? Come on, you guys. Let's look around. Maybe he can't hear us. What's that? <gasps> Sorry. It was just me. <laughs> I couldn't see you in the dark. <laughs> I don't like it in here. Could we please go back to the bus? Don't worry, Ralphie. Nothing's gonna happen to us. What's going on? Who turned out the light? What is that? <gasps> it's Arnold! I can't believe it! The ghost did get Arnold! Just like Janet said! Yeah, just like Janet said. Arnold's gone again! Sweet mysteries of light. Now you see him, now you don't. That's right. Without light, we can't see things, and they disappear. Um, would you mind turning your earrings back on, Miss Frizzle? Thank you. Oh, don't mention it, Keisha. Now, let's get the facts. The last time we saw Arnold, he was with Janet. Right? Right! And Janet was mad because we didn't go to a magic show because she likes magic. Right? Right! Then this whole thing has got to be a magic trick created by Janet just to scare us. Right? Right! What? It sounds reasonable to me. It sounds reasonable, but how does it look? Dark. We need more light so that we can see into all these dark corners. A scintillating suggestion, Keisha. Bottoms up, Liz! What's happening? We're rising! We're going up in the air! Well done, bus! Wow, that bus is bright. That's a lot brighter, Miss Frizzle, but we still need to get more light into all the dark corners. Janet could be anywhere. Good thinking, Keisha! More light to make it right. Hit it, Liz. Do you by any chance want us to go in there? Well, if you want to brighten up the night, you have to be light. You mean if I jump in there, I'll turn into light? But what will I, where will I? It's time to take chances, get messy, and be enlightened. <laughs> if you say so, Miss Frizzle. I see the light. Yes. Want to shed some light on your experience, Keisha? Well, I turned into light and raced straight out of the bulb like a shot. I traveled all the way over here. But you're not light now, are you? No, when I hit Miss Frizzle, I stopped being light. It was so cool. Gosh, at my old school, we never turned into light. But it was so quick. I was only light for a second. Less than a millionth of a second, actually. Can we be light too? Dazzle me. I take it that means yes. that wall I hit, I would have kept on going. Our turn! <laughs> Let's go! Whoa! I 
always knew I was bright. Hey! Even though we shot out of the same source, we went in different directions. And ended up all over the place. Very illuminating, class. Light from light bulbs or flash bulbs or candles all does the same thing. It travels in straight lines away from the thing that makes it. Meanwhile, while we've been shining examples of light, the ghost has been doing who knows what to Arnold. What we need is a way to aim the light in one direction and get it into those dark corners up there so we can find him. But how? How about trying this? Aim is the name of the game. Show them how it's done, Liz. Perfecto. Cool. That Liz light hit the mirror, bounced off, and lit up that dark corner before she stopped being light. Light. I used to see a lot of these in my days as a Shakespearean actress. You mean you were... Wanna light? Hey, look! That metal bowl around the candle keeps the light from spreading out. It bounces the light back and aims it out in one direction, just like the mirror did to Liz. Hey, if we could do the same thing to that bulb on the bus... Yeah! Since curved, shiny things can bounce light in one direction, then... How about this? Carlos, you found the fitted footlight attachment. I could have sworn I'd lent it to Cousin Newton. <laughs> A little more... There. Got it. Now we can aim the light to go where we want it. Anyone coming with me? Dorothy Ann? Dorothy Ann? Where's D.A.? And where's Tim? And where's Liz? Where are we? I don't know. I can't see anything. <gasps> the, the ghost! Hold it. This ghost looks familiar. Liz! A flashlight! Way to go, Liz! Gee, thanks! Wow! Look at all this cool stuff! We must be in the basement. What's that? What? Oh, it's just the shadow of this tree. Light travels in straight lines and can't go around things. So when I shine a light on the tree, the light bounces off it and doesn't get to the wall behind the tree. And when the light hits something else, like... What's that? Liz! <laughs> off Liz and doesn't make it to the wall. So there's a shadow. See? Yeah, I see. Now let's bounce our way out of here. Arnold! Tim! They're not here either. Miss Frizzle, we've searched everywhere, but we haven't found a thing. Maybe the ghost does have them. I tell you, Phoebe, there is no ghost. Oh, yeah? Then what's that? <gasps> oh, my. There's nothing left of Arnold's ghost but his g glasses. Ghost glasses? Wait a minute. Miss Frizzle, could we have some more light up there? We'll shed some light on that. Ah, no problem. That's weird. When the light shines on Arnold's glasses, they get brighter and clearer. That is weird. Ghosts are supposed to vanish when you turn on the lights, not get clearer. Aha! Uh -huh. The light proves it! Real things get brighter when there's more light on them. This is a trick. Yikes! What happened? Not to worry. We just need a new bulb. 
Good thing I always carry a spare. Tim, look! Somebody else is down here. Quick, turn off your flashlight so he can't see us. Oh no! He turned off his light too! I'm turning mine back on. He's doing everything you're doing! Yikes! It's us! <laughs> you're right! It's just a mirror bouncing our own light back at us. But what was that? Liz found a way out of here! Let's go! Arnold's ghost is back! Bigger and better than ever! But that doesn't mean he's a ghost, and it doesn't mean he's where he seems to be. But we can see him! He's all lit up! That's right, Phoebe! But consider the source. That's it? He's lit up because there's a source of light up there. But why can we see through him? I don't know, but I do know it's a trick with light, and I'm going up there to find out what it is. As I always say, to find the light, follow the light. Whee! And take a course back to the source. Ready when you are, Keisha. Ready. Here we go. Yeehaw! Oh, I have such bright students. Huh? I was right. It wasn't Arnold's ghost. It was Arnold's reflection. <gasps> Janet! I knew it! Now, hop on one foot. Again? Come on, Janet. I've done everything you've told me to do. Hop! This time is the last time, Janet! So that's how Janet does it. She shines a light on Arnold. The light bounces off Arnold, then bounces again off the piece of glass. And down to where we were watching. So we can see Arnold's reflection and what's behind the glass. That's why he looked like a ghost. Neat trick, Janet. But you can't treat Arnold like that. Cousin, or no cousin. Guess where we were? Under the stage. We found a flashlight. At least the ghost didn't find you. Any sign of Arnold? Yo! Where's Keisha? Ghost! Keisha! Help! And you're really scared. Who needs to pretend? Miss Frizzle, quick! We've got to get out of here now! Whatever you say, Keisha. Come on, bus! Do your stuff! now, Arnold. It's safe. You sure the ghost will leave me alone now? I'm sure. But you have to promise to never, ever tell anyone how we kept the ghost away. Why? Shouldn't everyone know how to keep a ghost away? Yes, but just don't tell anyone, okay? Janet, I'm beginning to wonder if there really was a ghost. Arnold, of course there was a ghost. Would I lie to you about a thing like that? Hmm. I thought you were finished, Janet. Who turned out the lights? <laughs> Probably just the ghost. But don't worry, I can handle it. Good night, ghosties. See you around sometime. <gasps> Janet! Janet, it's a cook! Arnold, get a hold of yourself! Janet, you're not telling Arnold the truth. The truth about what? Oh, nothing. This is just a trick. 
And the trick's on you, Janet. Listen, I don't know who you are, but you can't fool me. There are no such things as ghosts. Sorry about that, Arnold. Arnold? Where'd you go? Arnold is with me, Janet. And now that the lights are out, you're next. Why, Janet, we've been looking all over for you. Arnold's inside the theater, and he's been caught by the ghost. What ghost? Arnold? Come on, Janet. Everybody knows there's no such thing as ghosts. There is! There is! I was just kidding about it before, but I just saw one with my own eyes. It was white and horrible and... Did it look like this? Keisha, you, you tricked me. You should talk, Janet. You tricked me first. So, we used your own trick to trick you back. And we wanted to show you what we learned about light. Thanks to you, we figured out how it really works. Take a bow, Janet. You provided some excellent light entertainment. <laughs> Yeah, light's cool. Not only does it travel in straight lines, but you can also bounce it, so you can make it go just where you want it to. And you can even use it to make someone seem to be where they aren't. Well, uh, does this mean you think I'm brighter than all of you? Let's put it this way, Janet. With you around, there's never a dull moment. <laughs> Come on, cuz. Let's go home. As I always say, it isn't how bright you are that makes you shine. But if you know about light, you can be pretty flashy. Miss Frizzle! <laughs> some glowing reviews for that show. Magic School Bus here, producer speaking. Hi, I just saw your show on light and I have a few comments. It was dazzling, wasn't it? Yeah, but I've never seen a streak of light travel from place to place the way we saw the kids move when they were light. You're right. Light moves so fast that you can't tell it takes any time at all to move from place to place. So we slowed the kids way down when they became light so we could watch what it does when it moves. That makes sense. Bye. Bye. Well, that wasn't too bad, Liz. Liz? Liz, what are you doing? Hello, Magic School Bus. Where did Janet get that great trick she did with light? Ah, it's an old magician's trick called Pepper's Ghost. You can do it yourself, you know. I can? How? First, you take a cardboard box and paint the inside black. Then you make a medium-sized window in one side of the box so you can see in. Then you make a window out of plastic or stretch some plastic wrap across a cardboard window frame so it can fit in the box on a slant. Take your ghost object... <laughs> Put it on the floor of the box. Then close up the box. Now, make another hole in the box so a light from a flashlight can shine on your ghost object without lighting up the back of the box. Turn the light on. You'll see a reflection of your object in the plastic making a ghost appear in the back of the box. Turn the light off. And your handsome ghost disappears because there's no light for the reflection. But remember, the better looking the ghost, the better the trick. Then I think I'll make my ghost look like Liz. Hmm. You do that. <laughs> Surfing on a sine wave, 
It's a wild direction. 